To Kill a Mockingbird, Chapter 4 The rest of the school year passes grimly for Scout, who endures a curriculum that moves too slowly and leaves her constantly frustrated in class. After school, one day, she passes the Radley place and sees some tinfoil sticking out of a knot hole in one of the Radley's oak trees. Scout reaches into the knot hole and discovers two pieces of chewing gum. She chews both pieces and tells Jim about it. He panics and makes her spit it out. On the last day of school, however, they find two old Indian head pennies hidden in the same knot hole where Scout found the gum and decide to keep them. These are children, so they go by that age-old mantra of finders keepers. They are curious as to where this might have came from. It is on the Radley property, so of course that makes them a little bit frightened uh, about where it could have came from. Could it be Boo maybe trying to communicate with them? Um, and in the book on page 36, it does say finders were keepers unless title was proven. Summer comes at last, school ends, and Dill returns to Maycomb. And as it says in the book, also on page 36, two days later, Dill arrived in a blaze of glory. He, Scout, and Jim begin their games again. One of the first things they do is roll one another inside an old tire. On Scout's turn, she rolls in front of the Radley steps and Jim and Scout panic. As he tells her, Scout, get out of there. However, this incident gives Jim the idea for their next game. They will play Boo Radley. As the summer passes, their game becomes more complicated until they are acting out an entire Radley family melodrama. Eventually, however, Atticus catches them and asks if their game has anything to do with the Radleys. Jim lies, and Atticus goes back into the house. The kids wonder if it's safe to play their games anymore. While they are small children and young children, they are very imaginative. As it says in the book on page 40, Dill was a villain's villain. He could get into any character put part assigned to him and appear tall if height was part of the devil devilry required and Dill talks to him about how he actually goes to the movies a lot and so he gets that kind of information that kind of dramatic flair from going to the movies while they're playing in Boo Radley Atticus comes out and they did have a pair of scissors for which he took and then asked them uh, about that if they were playing Boo Radley whose real name is Arthur and they say no which of course is a lie but they, they want to prevent being in trouble like any kid would.